Yesterday, I basically just slept for way too long. It took a four hour nap, and I went and got food, and then I took another four hour nap, and then I chilled, ate more food, and then I slept throughout the night for like eight hours. So I'm very well rested, but it is very early in the next day now. We are going to the new apartment. We're gonna go pick up the keys. We are in the little truck, well, it's not little, but we're in the moving truck with all our stuff. Movers are gonna be coming in to help unload everything, so we're gonna get started on unpacking. I'm so excited. But yeah, well, that is beautiful. It is so sunny. It is gorgeous. It's so warm. Literally perfect summer weather. I cannot wait to experience more of this throughout the year. Empty apartment tour of the new place in Miami. If you guys haven't seen the previous moving vlogs, you should check it out. Me just like packing up everything and driving halfway across the country from Texas. But now we're in Miami. I figured I would show you what it looks like before we bring in all our stuff and start decorating. So let's get into it. If you guys are in here, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be posting a lot of moving content. Oh. First things first, when you walk in, we have a kitchen. You're currently sitting on this marble kitchen island, which I am obsessed with. And then behind me, we have the kitchen. As you can see, we have brand new stainless steel appliances. It all looks so good, so clean, so nice. I'm so excited. We got a fridge, freezer. Now here's gonna be our pantry. Here's the pantry, which is actually like super freaking deep like i cannot reach the back of it which is going to be great and a lot of storage and when we along this way we have more storage i think we're going to put maybe some appliances over here storage storage more storage it's really cool looking stove which is so exciting and then here's our sink really nice you know simple basic stuff of course we have our dishwasher and the most exciting part this freaking island i am obsessed with this i love kitchen islands i cannot wait to just be like cooking here prepping meals making breakfast and everything like that this is so freaking great and then of course in the meat we have even more storage which is literally wild usually places in miami do not have a lot of storage so this is like amazing when we along this way it's pretty empty but we have our living room very very spacious also i'm sorry for the echo there's literally nothing in this house right now so like the audio is just bouncing off the walls as you can probably tell and there's also these really cool led lights Oh, on this way we have a floor to ceiling window that goes out onto the balcony which doesn't have anything on it right now but i cannot wait to decorate that also a really cool thing about this apartment is that we have an unit washer and dryer i'm sure you guys know how important that is and how convenient it is because having to carry a big basket of laundry either to like a laundry room or you have to pay every time or to like a laundromat or anything like that is literally so inconvenient and time consuming so this is really great and it is hidden so nicely in here you literally couldn't even tell so it just opens up we have washer and dryers so exciting then going along this way we have the bedroom this room is pretty big i'm not really sure where everything is going to go in here but it is very spacious it's very bright this lighting is amazing especially for filming videos and streaming and like making content and everything like that so i am so excited you go in here and it is this massive walk-in closet i am so excited i don't think you can really tell on camera how spacious this is but it just like keeps going and going and going so this is going to be a great storage spot and this is something that i love about Sephora. there's literally so much storage like if you go this way guess what more storage so here we open up the store there's another big sliding door with more storage i don't know i think we're gonna put electronics and stuff in here and then going along this way we have the bathroom which is really cute it's like an all white marble vibe we have a really nice mirror this opens up and you can put uh, a bunch of like skincare and stuff in there is probably what we're gonna do and then a pretty big sink and here's our marble shower i was so excited and then going out this way we have more storage there's so much room to put stuff in literally so spacious i'm so excited and this view is so freaking good i love nature i love green so this is gonna be really great like sunsets sunrises or whatever i don't know what side we're on but that would be so cool This is what we're looking like right now a lot of boxes the couch made it up we have to <laughs> fluff it up of course we have one set up over here more boxes tv is gonna go here and then the bedroom is also quite 
<laughs> a mess. All of these are clothes that have to go into the closet and this as well. So all of this is gonna go away and then we have this PC set up. This desk is gonna go right along that way over there and this whole space is gonna open up, which is amazing. Hello, it is a bunch of hours later. We are currently at Target. We came to do the shopping spree of all the essentials. It, they are closing in like 30 minutes, so I don't have all the time in the world. But we can shop for the absolute basics that we need. So let's get into it. This Target is so weird. It's like such a different format than what I'm used to, so. Okay, this is unrelated, but why do I kind of want this? Hey, right, this is so cute. <laughs> Should we get this? Yeah. I feel like Diva would destroy it though. So I don't know. Oh, wait, this one's so big. I like that one. But those are more final touches. So let's set up the whole place first and then we'll come back for decor. All right, we really need a shower curtain because we don't have one. Okay, now we need one of these. We have like a white marble bathroom. So probably like a silver, yeah. Should, should we just do a normal one? Like it doesn't really matter. We're gonna You'll see. see it at the top. Wait, those ones or these ones? Here, let's just do this one. Does this extend enough? Probably, yeah. they're standard yeah, size. That one. Huh? All right, shower essentials. We got a shower curtain, and then we have a curtain rod and these little hooks. That's what we're gonna do for now. We might come back and upgrade eventually, but this is what we need for right now. Why are you so tall? How are you like, I have so much headspace in here. Okay, let's go. We're going. <laughs> oh, those are cute. Should we get these for the bathroom? We have some, so let me. We like to remind you that shopping hours are closing. Um, yeah, I want to get some of these, but we have a bunch, so I'm gonna use what we have first and then see what we need. Joey's beelining to the wine section. Yep. Something you want to tell the blog? I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Go, they're closing. All right, pick one. We have to open a new bottle today. First day at the new place. Exactly. It should be a tradition. We liked the other day. What did I like the other day? Uh, the yellow tail. Get it. I love that this was supposed to be like a little shop for a couple things that we absolutely needed and now we're like a full cart later. Back home, we ended up getting a lot more stuff than we initially thought. So I'm gonna put all the groceries away so they don't go bad in the fridge and then we're gonna start setting up the apartment. This is so satisfying. <laughs> nice. Yeah, all of this is so that it just didn't go everywhere. This unit <laughs> is literally brand freaking new. It's a brand new Samsung smart uh, microwave and smart stove. Love it. You can actually program it to like start cooking your dinner at a certain time. Or, like, what? You can, have it, like, you can have it like preheat your oven before you get home so that like you can just put in your food. That's so cool. Yeah, it's great. There's like a ton of settings. Look who climbed up there now cannot get down. Come here, baby. Here you go. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh. Oh. Poor baby. It's okay. We rescued you. Oh, it's on, it's on camera. <laughs> yeah. We rescued her. Wee. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to wipe down the fridge. Can I help you? I'm gonna wipe down the fridge. <laughs> Even though nobody has used it before, it's brand new. But just before I put my food stuff, it's just kinda, you know, you never know. So let's do that real quick and then put all the groceries that got in the fridge. <laughs> Today was literally such a chaotic freaking day. We've done so much. We've been up since I want to say like 8 a.m. Picking up keys, getting the movers, getting internet set up. Then the internet was having issues, so I didn't actually get set up. A lot of phone calls, a lot of little errands, a lot of people to call to make sure that we have all the keys that we need. 
on the login that we need transfer electricity bills and everything like that we call the old apartment and make sure that they know that we're out and that it's empty and everything like that so it was just like very chaotic then we had to go to target as you guys saw and like got a bunch of freaking stuff it was supposed to be just like a quick grocery run where we just pick up like curtain rod and a curtain for the shower and then like just like milk and eggs for breakfast but we ended up spending like 160 freaking bucks so it's been a long day it's already for like midnight or one in the morning so i think we're just gonna call it here for the day we realized we got a shower so i guess we're setting up the new curtain rod we're setting up a pole today. setting up a pole so i can do all my tricks <laughs> Why are you cankling things in the back of my ASMR? Cankling things? Cankling? Is that what that means? Cankling? I don't know. I don't know. Let her know in the comment section what the cankling is. I don't know when you like do that. Mm -hmm. I'll be like. Can you? Can you? You ever call your vlog chat? Sometimes, but then I refer Chat, them. chat, chat, chat. They're not chat. They're not chatting. If they chat, were commenting. Chat. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Look, we came to play. Hey, hi. What are you doing? Do you want to take a shower? What are you doing? She's my little helper. She just said enough to spring down for you. Good. Huh? She said to film me. I'm helping. Alright. Do you know how to do this? No. Ooh, it looks good. Uh, I'm so tired and hungry, but I want to have some. Why are you so close? Sorry. I'll get up. I want to have cereal, so we have to figure out where the bowls are. I think here. But we shall see. Oh, I missed completely. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's so late. I'm tired. Oh my god, you found a bowl? That's actually crazy. Thanks, you got two. Got cereal. This reminds me of like my favorite cereal that I have in Greece or that I used to have, I guess, when I was a kid. I don't know if they're gonna be any good or if they're gonna be too sweet or what. I'll have them either, but we're gonna have some. Look what it is. She's like, what is that? Good morning. It is officially the first full day in the new apartment. We're going to be organizing. We're going to be unboxing, unpacking, and decorating the whole place. So I'm really excited. I'm really ambitious that I can get at least most of this done in the duration of today. But according to past experience, that might prove difficult to do. But we'll see. This is what the place is looking like right now. So last night, the first thing we did was set up the computer because we need this for work. And then the rest of the place is basically big mess so we literally cannot even walk into the kitchen so that's quite the problem we have a bunch of empty boxes the bedroom also not looking the best i did move a bunch of the electronics into this electronics closet so this is like extra cords and cables and equipment and stuff that we're not really going to be using very often so that can go in there this is stuff for the bathroom we started setting up the bathroom as you guys saw we went to target and we bought a curtain rod and set that up last night but there's still a bunch of boxes that need to be opened and all the things that we have just need to find like a home or where they're gonna sit at all times so here we have our walk-in closet as you can see there's like literally no clothes in here yet so i'm gonna have to unbox all of these and then hang everything in here which i'm sure is gonna be a little time consuming but we got this Look at this. If 
first box I'm gonna open is this appliances because I'm pretty sure those are all gonna go in here. So it's gonna be easy to get out of the way. I wish I knew where scissors were. But we'll just use some of these. brief intermission from the unpacking because somebody needs to go to the doctor for antibiotics for an infection that she got so we're gonna do that right now okay we're back from the vet diva had a little bit of an inflammation so they gave her some meds so hopefully she'll be feeling better soon but now we have to get back to unpacking because it's been a whole day and the place still looks like a hot mess so let's go Air fryer, best purchase ever. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. This is what the floor is looking like right now. So let's go. day but we're having issues with our internet because we had to get fiber installed and i don't know what exactly is going wrong but the thing that they put in is not communicating with our modem so we're not getting wi-fi still so they've been working on this since literally yesterday it's been a whole headache so there's just people in and out so it's really hard to actually talk to the camera but there's a lot of progress being made i am unpacking a bunch of the boxes there's stuff still kind of scattered everywhere but there is progress so i cannot wait i love how it's turning out it's very nice very organized and i just cannot wait for everything to be in its place and being able to use it and all of that so i think this corner right here is going to be the coffee nook because i absolutely love having coffee nooks and then i have the cups and glasses right next to it so that way it'll be super convenient but i'm just gonna wipe down the counter because there was boxes up here set up our coffee maker I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be. Do you have uh, Wi Fi? I mean, on your phone? You want to try to uh, give the information? Let me check. This coffee nook turned out so freaking cute. So here we have the coffee maker. It's like tucked away and it has like its own little space. And then up here, we have the different types of coffee. So we have blonde roast, medium roast, we have sugar, we have cinnamon sugar. And then we have everything that you need to make coffee. We have syrups. Up here we have supplements. Oh my God, are you okay? That's a big jump. Some tea. And then up here we have some extra jars that we don't really use, but I like to just like store <laughs> random jars because you never know when they might come in handy. For next so we have all our glasses and our mugs, which are really cute and organized. And then up there we have some extra ones, some seasonal ones, like super random ones. Up here we have a Diva Diva who was literally sick and had to go to the vet this morning <laughs> but now is apparently feeling all better I'm facing a dilemma right now and that is which one of these little whiteboards to put up here because at the last apartment we had all of these next to each other because this was just like longer at the last kitchen but now we can only pick a couple so before we had like a weekly meal prep, grocery list and then this is just like a calendar I'm thinking of just putting the calendar here maybe i can put the grocery list somewhere else or maybe we don't even need it at all maybe we can just start writing on the fridge because we have like a little magnetic board as well and then maybe i just bring these and put them somewhere else like by the desk or something i think that's what we're gonna do oh my god it is literally coming together so smoothly i'm gonna open i think this might be the last box or at least the last like kitchen specific box there might be some miscellaneous stuff the box is so heavy
I just put all of the cleaning stuff under this sink and I think everything's like really cute, really organized. I'll have a bunch of cleaning towels and extra cleaning supplies in here. And I also bought some of these heavy duty, they're like little scrubby things. So I'm gonna put those here as well. The counters are finally starting to clear up, but I do have all of these boxes and all of these boxes and all of those boxes that are empty. So I'm gonna break all those down and put them away. freaking tired oh my god i wonder what she hides under her disguise yeah 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 and all the girls around the world they want to be and all the don't hello i took a little break but now we're in the living room i figured since i finished up most of the kitchen most of the things are like where they're essentially going to be at there's a couple boxes and bags and all that that i have to throw out but i really am so excited to like settle up this place i thought i would what so I thought I would try to set up the living room and just like finish up this area as well because I'm literally so excited. I was gonna do this like separate vlog for every room, but like I'm not really trying to wait a whole freaking week to experience what this apartment has to offer. So I have my books here and I'm gonna put it on the shelving unit that we have right here. It's actually like a console unit thing, but I like to keep my books in here. So let's get into it. First, I just gotta dust this down because it got hella dusty in the moves. I don't think I mentioned this in a video, but I recently got a Kindle, which has been really great because I'm always traveling. How? Oh my God. Which is really great because I'm always like traveling back and forth. So it's really good to have all my books on a little device that I can just like easily bring with me anywhere. But I do have a couple of my favorite books and like physical copies. I really like to showcase those. So I'm gonna put them on the shopping unit right here. These are three of my recent faves. I've been reading a lot of thrillers. Like I don't know what it is. Literally brought me back into reading. I don't know what happened but... I used to read mostly like romance novels and non-fiction stuff like businessy books and everything like that but last year I didn't really read all that much I think last year I read like six books total in the whole year I was just like not into it and then my sister recommended me this which is literally so good you guys should read this and then I bought this and then I bought this and then I bought a bunch of other stuff and now here we are with a whole book collection you guys have never tried thrillers because like I used to always be like oh I don't really want to read thrillers they're probably like either really scary or really boring not really my thing they might just be your thing and you just might not know it so there's that they're like super captivating like murder mysteries like who done it you're trying to like figure out there's always the craziest plot twist and I literally love that they're all just like patience like I read these in a span of like a day or two like it's actually wild my self-help stack so this is like some books that I've been reading recently that are more on the self-help side so I'm gonna put those in their own little category I also recently bought this because you guys don't know if you guys don't know there's two cats roaming around here you might see them in the back of my videos in the back of my streams and whatever so I just thought that was like really cute. I saw it at Barnes & Noble and then Loki bought it online because Amazon is just like half the price for no freaking reason at all. I think I paid like 9 bucks for this and it says here it's like $20. So anyways, I got this and it just like talks about cats and how they act and how they feel and how they experience the world. And it's like really cool. It has like pictures and stuff. So I thought that was like a really cute like coffee table to have a book to have since this is a cat friendly household. I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be happy. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's FIFA. She lives a double life. What's on the show? What's under the side of Oh my god, this is the first freaking sunset at the new apartment. That is gorgeous. <laughs> I want a big fancy car with 